Hi, I'm Hussain Delay, software engineer. In this video, we'll see how to use the repository pattern to access our data. For that, I start with my sample uh, hosted on uh, MSDN code. So we can download it. It's a very uh, simple sample that allow you to access our database. Uh, here we have a list of persons with their names, their profession, and their interests. So I open in this project in Visual Studio, and here the persons controller, which will um, access my database and return the data, and will do all the crude operations from uh, getting details to creating and editing and deleting data. Here, uh, the persons controller accesses the data through the persons context. The persons context is the access point to the database by doing this uh, this is not uh, easy to test so here we we'll, we thought about using the repository pattern that will uh, make your application more easy to test and also easy to maintain and to, to modify for that for that I'll add a new folder so add new folder, I call it repository and to this folder I'll add my repository pattern which is here I have two classes, the interface and the implementation so I'll add it to the repository pattern here the interface for the for the crude operations and uh, uh, I'm using uh, the new uh, features in Entity Framework 6 with, which may allow you to make uh, asynchronous uh, operations and for the implementation here I just implement the iGeneric repository where the entity is uh, a class it could be your, pers your the person which is the entity for your database and here in the constructor I'm passing the db context and I'll just set it to be able after that to to uh, implement the crude operations get by id here it just find async uh, you give it the id and it returns uh, the uh, the person here which is the, the entity as a generic uh, entity and all the other stuff you can just edit it and uh, don't forget to save the changes to the database and you can also delete uh, an entity and of course save the changes so let's start using it let's come back to the person's controller and here instead of using the directory the, the person's context I'll just go and use the generic repository generic repository it's uh, the T entity is type of persons here person I call it just generic repository equal new generic repository of type person and here I have to pass the db context I just create a new db context actually it's not db context it's person's context and now what I will do is just I will I use the generic repository instead of db dot people and to list will just I'll just replace it by one of the methods that I implemented here it's get all and here instead of get by ID async it takes the ID but it's um, unless synchronous I will have to use the await keyword and with the await I'll have to use the async keyword and make 
this return a task I'll have them to resolve and here instead of using people DB and the add operation I call it it uh, insert async which is an asynchronous operation so again I'll have to use the await async and here I I don't need to use uh, save changes since it's done in the uh, insert async so here in the insert async it's doing this for me save the changes so I'll just remove this line task okay this is very easy to do So let's create a new person entity. Call it BI profession engineer age 24 and let's create it. And this yes, works. So let's try here to edit this one. So instead engineer I said for example software engineer and save. And yes it works. So what we did here is just adding an interface call it iGeneric repository and then we implemented that interface in the generic repository and we implemented also the crude operations and we used them in the persons controller. So thank you.